Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven, Haven Wisdom. <laughs> Stumbling right over that today. It is Tuesday and I am here to do a daily tarot reading for the collective. I hope you are all doing well. Um, it has been one heck of a heat wave here where I live. Um, it was 92 or 3 today with a feel like of around 100. High humidity again. I'm all rosy cheeked today. Um, but spent most of the day in the water with the pool. <laughs> Feeling blessed to have a pool this time of year. All right, everyone. So I have said my prayer, called in my spirit guides, and they will be with us for the reading. And I'm starting with the Sacred Traveler Oracle deck for our opening energies. And it's just coming alive here. So we've got some good energy here for the reading. Anything else, Spirit? Okay, bottom of our deck is joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. All right, do you have your heart all closed up? Are you keeping it in a cage? It's time to open it and free it. Let it feel the love and joy that's around you and within you, okay? Beautiful energy there. And let's see what else. So we're just coming out of the energy of the new moon in Cancer. And that was a rather delightful moon. I hope you didn't have too much problem with that. We have traveling lightly. Simplify your life. What can you do to make life easier, freer for yourself? Being more organized, making lists, um, releasing energies that aren't for you, that type of thing. Clear your mind a little, clear that clutter out. If you've been carrying things that you just don't need to carry with you, it's time to release it all. Cleansing waters, purification activates vibrant life force. And uh, it was just felt so good to be in the water today. Feel it, get grounded, release some energies, right? Got a couple of nice downloads in the water today. <sighs> Desert passage, trust there is a divine plan. Trust in the divine. Trust in your spirit guides, your ancestors, your angels. They will not disappoint. You know, you've got to trust that there's divine timing. Trust there's a di divine plan for you. You just continue to do the work, put the effort in, and spirit is right there guiding you, supporting you. And I always like seeing that card, right? It's just a nice reminder. Sometimes we get so bogged down in life and we forget that we have this energy around us, protecting us, looking out for us. Solitude. In silence, peace prevails. I mean, isn't that the truth? And sometimes some of our lives, things are just too hectic and we crave some alone time. I remember when my children were really long, young, I always... Oh, just five minutes of peace and serenity. Right? Life can be chaotic, and it's having that time alone sometimes that we really just need. Even if you're sharing that alone time with someone else, right? Just quiet, peaceful times together. Overcoming obstacles, you can overcome anything. And that's true. We are strong beyond measure. And we can come overcome anything we put our mind to, we put our soul, we set our intentions for. We can overcome it. Discovering truth, you stand in the light of truth. Right? Whatever you're speaking, whatever you're saying, whatever you're doing, you're in the light of truth now. You're in the light of your own truth. And stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. And I think I just said that, right? And here's the card. You are strong beyond measure. We all are. We all have such an inner strength. And sometimes we, we don't even realize the strength that we carry in us, how we've endured and persevered through the toughest times. 
building that wisdom and that strength and courage to go on in life and unknown ta territory you are exactly where you need to be another really reaffirming message um, especially if you're feeling doubtful in any way right um, i love when these energies come out just to give you that reassurance that you know that you're where you're meant to be doing what you're meant to be being with who you're meant to be with all that kind of stuff you're exactly where you need to be right now impasse reflect and redirect your energy hmm reflect and redirect your energy so what are you focusing on now that maybe isn't the best for you redirect your energy hmm. we'll see how this might come out in the energy and great adventure take a risk and venture forward right keep moving forward day by day step by step keep bringing it forward just stay on the path stay in the flow one day at a time one step at a time one action at a time all right rather hopeful positive messages there i'm just going to take a little sip of water All right, we're going to use the good tarot. Let's connect into this energy. Spirit. All right, spirit. What does the collective need to see today? bottom of our deck is um, the call and this is a special energy in this deck and this is about answering the call that spirit puts out to you and this can be um, a spiritual journey of someone someone um, you know spirit saying take this action make this commitment do do whatever um, they could be asking you to do um, stepping into your true north, your real purpose, that soul purpose in life. Um, and someone is answering that call. All right, so that could be something coming towards you here. The center of our spread, we have the Queen of Cups. <laughs> um, and the Queen of Cups, right, is the epitome of love, unconditional love in one's life. She's warm, nurturing, caring, motherly, um, comforting, endearing, um, compassionate, understanding, often very 
intuitive, very psychic. Um, often a high priestess energy is associated with the Queen of Cups, um, that type of an energy here. Um, as I was shuffling, I just felt this um, contemplative, like a nervous energy um, that someone has right now, a very... Um, enlightened but a little nervous so we'll see what uh, we discover here we have the nine of wands so this is somebody that is got their uh, boundaries up right they are they've been through it <laughs> they've been through it they're past the healing right now and they're just being careful with their energy maybe a little too careful, a little too much self-protection. And this can also be somebody um, knowing what they want and holding their ground on it. And then we have this two of wands energy. Somebody, you know, they know what they want and they maybe they're holding themselves back from this action that they want to take. Maybe they're afraid in some way. And then we have the five of swords, right? So this is that anger, inner conflict, frustration, all of that up in the head, overthinking, over worrying, overreacting, maybe argumentative, that kind of an energy, somebody here where they're holding themselves back and it's causing this conflict, even though they know what they want. They're like, oh, uh, you know, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go after what I want for whatever reason this could be, right? Um, it could be maybe a stability issue, right? Somebody maybe doesn't like the work they're doing, doesn't like the relationship they're in, and they're afraid to make a move to, they're holding themselves back out of, of fear and worry. Into the middle row, we have um, the Knight of Swords. And this is a fast moving energy, right? This could be somebody coming in fast, um, bringing some truth and some information, some clarity that you haven't heard, and maybe coming towards this Queen of Cups. And there's a bit of sadness here, somebody in a little bit of sadness and regret, wishing things worked out differently in some way. Wow. Into our middle row, we have the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles is an opportunity, um, you know, someone going back and forth on something. Yes or no, up or down, left or right, I will, I won't. You know, all those kinds of energies. And it could be somebody trying to just find balance in life. Maybe they have a lot of balls in the air, a lot of things to attend to. And they're trying to keep that equilibrium, keep that balance in their life. And then we have the sun, some happiness, some joy, some clarity. Maybe that will settle this energy down in some way. And this four of swords, somebody healing their heart, taking care of it, being gentle with themselves, resting, getting the rest they need. And then the extra energy that came out was nine of cups, wish fulfillment. So maybe something is going to be happening here with this sun energy something is going to change something is going to come in maybe with this knight of swords energy and then you know the answering the call from the bottom of our deck so let's take um you know the thing that's jumping out at me is two of wands Queen of Cups, the clarity and illumination here. Uh, if we keep going like that, maybe that was the past. This is the... Hmm. And then the Five of Swords into the Five of Cups into the Four of Cups. I was conflicted 
Now I'm sad and now I'm healing my heart about it. Okay. Goodness, we're flying all over the place tonight. The cards flipping in the deck. Something's trying to come out here. Some message wants to be seen and heard. Whew. Wow, such intensity. Holy cow. All right. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is the Four of Wands. And this is about celebrations, happiness, reaching a milestone. The 1111 card, um, coming together in union in some way. And then we have the Knight of Wands, right? Um, Page of Wands, rather. Page of Wands here, and they're happy. This is like a, a fool energy, right? A real explorer, someone checking things out, curious, um, passionate about things. So a lot of fire energy there. Oh, and we had the sun come up. Happiness, joy, clarity. Excitement, victory. Tell me about the Two of Wands energy, please, Spirit. Two of Wands is the Wheel of Fortune, some change coming in. Um, maybe this is going to be a quick change, or maybe you've been going through a, a, a regular um, energy of change here. And then we have the Moon. Um, the Moon is our deep emotions. It's what's hidden from us, things we don't know. It is things that are being kept from us, and it also can be... Um, light and energy that lights up the dark, lights up the shadows in one's life. And page of swords, um, somebody in uh, an energy of seeking information, checking things out, um, maybe looking at you or your social media pages spying on you, trying to figure out what's going on with you, where you're at, what you're doing, the, that type of an energy. And it can be just the work that somebody's doing requires them to um, search. Tell me about the Five of Swords. And that is a tower. So there's a tower happening here. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe that's the energy I was feeling. Um, tell me more about the Five of Swords. It's causing someone a tower. And the 
king of cups energy is there so we have a king of cups that is in a tower right now and this can be emotional energy tell me about the tower There's an opportunity of some kind there. The page of pentacles, a beginner, somebody looking for a victory, and the ace of cups. So we have two aces here on this tower. So this could be like an opportunity of something coming in with this king of cups. And there's the third ace that pops out. That is correct. So we have a king of cups coming in with an opportunity of love that is going to cause someone a tower. And that is the truth. He's going to bring in truth. Wow. Tell me about the knight of swords. The Knight of Swords, he is the one in that Two of Pentacles energy, throwing something back and forth and back and forth. What else about the Knight of Swords? Knight of Wands. So we have a King of a Knight of Swords and a Knight of Wands here. And tell me about the Queen of Cups. Hmm. I love this Queen of Cups in this deck. Look at that energy, huh? And I can feel this unconditional love coming from this. It's very loud and it's right in the center of the spread. So it's swirling all this energy here as I'm reading. Like I can feel it. And as I said that, I got goosebumps. Whew. So tell me about our Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is in the Five of Wands energy, and so maybe she's doing something where she's strategizing, a little conflict there, trying to work through some things, trying to spark something, trying to strategize, make something happen in her life, push something through, everyday kind of stuff. What else about the Queen of Cups? She's in the Nine of Swords energy here, where someone coming towards her is. This is somebody that's having difficulty sleeping, up at night, anxious, worried, overthinking, regretful, in despair. Tell me about the Five of Cups. That is the Queen of Wands. She's a magnetic, fiery, passionate, creative, um, life of the party. Often um, a business owner, entrepreneur kind of energy. Lights up a room when she walks in. 
So she's dealing with a little bit of regret, perhaps, or someone's regretful about her. And we have the Knight of Cups here. And this is our romantic knight, right? Delivering a message of love. Got the scene all set with the picnic, huh? holding that box of candy and flowers. What else about this? Oh, here it is. And then we have the Five of Cups, a repeat of the energy that was down. And the Seven of Swords. This could be an energy of somebody that ran away in the past that maybe is thinking about returning this can be somebody that deceived you in the past that's thinking about returning in some way this can also be somebody spiritually aligned and going about their business doing their work not making a big deal about it or anything like that Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles energy. Mm, we have a fool here. We have somebody about ready to take a leap of faith of some kind. You know, maybe they're in this i'm ready to go i'm ready to leap i'm ready to take the action take the risk start out fresh do something <sighs> but this sadness is holding me back this four of cups energy um in this deck this is about manifesting though when we're in that you know dreamy energy um imagining what things could be like if something didn't happen or whatever we end up manifesting in a way we don't even realize it and then we have this ten of swords energy somebody leaving this all behind leaving the sadness whatever behind maybe they're undecided about that in some way and they're going towards their happiness and that's the fool energy there am i going to leave this it's staying sad or it's going towards my happiness, right? Leave the pain behind, take the leap of faith, and go forward. Tell me about the sun. That's the seven of wands, and this is an energy of um, somebody that is spiritually protected right it's an energy of self-protection keeping a bubble around oneself right but knowing you're spiritually guided spiritually protected and um going about life in that way proceeding through life knowing that you have that kind of protection around you but sometimes someone can be a little bit too um protective in this energy Tell me more about the sun. And we have the Hierophant energy there. So angel energy here. Um, this is about traditions, values, um, rules we play in life, authority, how we conduct ourselves, our morality, our honesty, our integrity. And there's an angel energy there. So the two of those energies there, that's pretty powerful. Yeah, even more so we have the Eight of Cups walking away towards our happiness, towards the light. And we have Archangel Michael here, right? Giving someone strength and courage and helping them stay balanced in life. Wow, look at this 
powerful. Um, it's so humid. My arm is sticking to all the cards. <laughs> uh, look at this um, powerful um, spiritual energy here. You know, the sun. The sun, the hierophant, and the spiritual protection. The clarity and the illumination, happiness here that's going on for someone. Plus, they're walking away towards their happiness. And tell me about the Four of Swords. We're healing our heart here. We're treating it gently and kind. We're resting up. We have the Three of Pentacles here. Mending, working um, together with someone, collaborating, building something together. Feeling a beautiful energy here, a real energy of support, mutual support, collaboration, commitment. I have a train coming through, folks. <laughs> I apologize. So we have the two of wands here, and that's an energy that's out here, right? Somebody that's done the work, they're doing the work, they have the plan, the map, they know everything, they're ready, they're so ready for, to take this action in some way. They're ready. They have the vision, they have the clarity. They're just waiting for it all to unfold. And there's the Nine of Cups, the wish fulfillment coming in, this opportunity that comes in that it's going to knock, it's going to blow this energy open, right? Tell me about this. It's kind of like the train coming in right now, right? Right at the time this Nine of Cups comes out, this powerful energy is going to come in. This tower is going to hit and bring some positive news into your life. Tell me about the Nine of Cups energy. Nine of Cups is the Four of Swords, right? That we're healing our heart. What else about the Nine of Cups? Oh, we have the Eight of Wands, communication coming in, fast-moving energy. A lot of information going back and forth, moving faster, doing more, you being in a faster energy. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles, our slowest moving energy. What a contrast to the Eight of Wands, because um, this energy is slow, but it's determined. And of all the Knights, it's the one to most likely to make it over the finish line. And interestingly enough, we have all four Knights in this reading. So... Okay, and we have this confident, single, available person, right? Independent, building something in their life, capable. And tell me about the call energy. Yeah, the Empress. As I was shuffling, I saw her at the bottom of the deck a few times. I wondered if she was going to show her head here right so empresses right they wait for energy to come towards them they build worlds right they birth lives nurturing beautiful 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 energy so she's in her queen of pentacles energy right now stable grounded committed nurturing, wise, and she's answering the call. She's in her purpose. She's in this full energy. She's ready to take this leap of faith, and she's 
putting away this ten of swords, this unhappiness, and she's just going for something in her life. Something that's going to bring her stability. Wow. What a doozy of a reading here. So the only ace we didn't get out was the ace of wands. The only ace we didn't get out and the ace of wands comes out. Wow. Star energy on the bottom. Healing, right? But it's also divine timing with the tower. The star always comes out afterwards. All right. <laughs> wow, I'm just, it's just... I just feel such joy right now for somebody. Something really good is coming in here. I don't get to say that too often in these readings. All right, let's... What's the uh, takeaway here, Spirit? This... Looks like this em empress has been on some type of a healing sp spiritual journey. And she's been building something, working on something here. Okay, spirit. So what is the outcome? What's the takeaway here for the collective in this reading? we folks you never see shit like this happen oops excuse me I swore end of a cycle harassment okay <laughs> So first out, we had 
the Ace of Wands, right? And that's the last card that came out. You know, this possibility and opportunity of passion, creativity, love, desire here. And then um, the Page of Wands, that happy, excited, fool-like energy, the exploring energy. The Queen of Wands, it's passionate, fiery, magnetic energy. Ten of Wands, this emotional pain and burden we've been carrying around for a long time. We're releasing it. Page of Swords. This is somebody on a path of truth. This could be a spying energy, checking things out. Seven of Swords. This can be someone that manipulated um, deceived you in some way, that type of an energy, or this is someone spiritually aligned. Four of Wands, this is a stability, um, a celebration coming in. Spirit saying, stay strong, stay courageous, take risks, just keep doing the work, you're strong. Somebody's gone through a huge transformation here. This is death and rebirth. Five of Wands, that strategizing, that trying to push something forward, get ahead, the everyday aggravations. Three of Swords, this broken-hearted energy. Knight of Wands, this passionate, fast-moving energy in somebody, creative, fiery energy. Three of Pentacles, this collaboration, working together, building something together, mending as you go along. High Priestess, intuitive, psychic, watches, waits, knows things. <laughs> The Magician, transmuting energies, working through things. I mean, this could be quite a couple here. The High Priestess and the Magician, quite a couple. And then we have Patience, staying patient and calm, intentional. You know, Archangel Michael helping with those energies in the world. A new beginning, a new opportunity. The end of this Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Staying patient and waiting for your new beginning to come. And that's what an Empress does, right? Wow, we. And that's when the. You have the world and there's the fool. Something is, something big is ending in your life. And you have these four. Um, the thing about the world card is something ends, but you get fresh new opportunities. You had three aces come out here. And the victory card with the tower. Power. These three aces come in with the King of Cups, Page of Pentacles energy. Three aces there. Then we had the On the Call, the Empress, the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. So the only um, queen that didn't come out here was the Queen of Swords. So, and so the, the world energy, something closes out, but you get the four aces that come with this, that fresh new start in all directions with tons of possibility in your life. Wow. Wow. So keep going forward. Um, you, you've really released something huge here in your life. 
somebody has has been going through a huge transformation and maybe it's it's been an unknown energy to you this wheel of fortune is going to come in and you're going to get maybe the truth on a situation in your life maybe a, the truth on why um, something happened the way it did a better understanding better clarity or um, maybe as you've healed you've done this on your own you've come to this new place in your life this new clarity so let's take the sacred forest and see what wants to come out here today spirit guides what higher level energies are at play for the collective Anything else, Spirit? Hmm? Bottom of our deck is transmutation. The phoenix rises. And that's the magician energy, right? Rising. Mm. Okay. What do we got here? Well, first card out. <laughs> first card that did not hesitate came right out is the miracle card. Okay. This card just doesn't come out that often. And when it does, it's a special message for someone. Miracles are very individual. What I consider a miracle might not be what you consider a miracle. But I know that for this energy to come out, somebody has to be aligned. They have to be functioning in a spiritual realm, um, high vibrating, right? Really um, committed and doing their thing, doing the work. And something amazing is going to be happening here some kind of miracle and spirit saying have a heart, generous heart be generous with your time your energy your love who you are and i speak about generosity a lot here on the channel stay in the flow meandering path stay in the flow life is easier when we're in the flow Spirit guardian of spring, there's been an activation. Maybe you've gone through a portal um, with this new moon. And it's like a spring, a new beginning for you, new growth, new opportunities. Dragonfly spirit with change. Change is coming in. You have the wheel of fortune and a tower. So some kind of change is coming in. We have Forest Temple with Enlightenment. Somebody's gone through a huge enlightenment here, a huge transformation in their life. Daffodil Fairy with New Beginnings. And this is such a happy card for me. Look at the light and the color. It just spring, screams um, summer to me, even though it's a, kind of like a spring, a new beginning kind of card. But um, I feel like just a brilliant summer there daffodils that's spring air spirit knowledge right getting knowledge spiritual knowledge learning more taking on more information maybe there's more for you to learn 
pure spirit with purification, right? Cleansing out what doesn't need to be in you, releasing burdens, pains, worries, fears, right? And you're pure. You're like this snow fairy here, right? You're just magical in your energy right now. Foggy Bay with stay patient in the energy. Stay very patient with yourself and with others. Ancient Oak Spirit. You know, this is a real angel energy giving you strength and supporting you, encouraging you, pushing you forward. And Enchanted Fern Grotto is refuge. So if you need to pull your energy back, Spirit saying, it's okay. Pull your energy back whenever you need to and be with us. Let us comfort you. Let us guide you. Let us support you. Let us give you that clarity. Okay, and we all have this energy around us, even if you don't realize that this energy is here for you. Okay, so let your spiritual team do the work for you. Let them nurture you. All right, everyone, what a powerful reading today. Holy cow. All right. This is what's coming. You have a tower, right, that comes in. And something. The opportunities, the possibilities. You're going to have to take a leap of faith of some kind. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. All right, everyone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, for all your likes, your shares, your comments, your views. I hope you're enjoying summer. And I will see you in the next reading. Love and light to all. Take care. Bye-bye.